You're with Let's Stay Rich. The dream is to enjoy a sustained standard of living through one's life when the income is coming in and once it begins tapering off and of course once it ends. And that's exactly how we intend to structure Keegan's portfolio as well. Prashant Joshi of Deutsche Bank and Firoz Aziz of Anandrati are our two guests who are guiding Keegan in structuring his financial plan. All right, so we spoke about uh, Keegan's dependence. He has a mother and a wife that he needs to take care of. In that case, have you thought about insurance? What kind of insurance do you have right now besides what the club gives you? Actually, I have none right now, but from this year, I'm going to start off doing something like okay. a life insurance for my mom, for me, for my wife. Okay, and your mother is not earning at the moment, No, right? she's, she's a housewife. Okay, so I think our experts will guide you better, but uh, I would assume that life insurance is only for earning members. So if you have to buy insurance for your dependents, you might look at health insurance. Am I correct? Correct. Yeah, that's right. In fact, I think for his dependents, he needs to look at uh, health insurance. Hmm. And given the fact that you know his skills uh, result in so much of earnings and in right. support for the entire family, for himself he needs to look at uh, life insurance, a normal term uh, life mm -hmm. insurance. So for life and health and uh, accident, how much cover should I have? So if we think about the fact that 10, 20 years later to meet day-to-day uh, -day expenses, how much do you need? And if you think on those lines, I think a real solid term plan of anywhere between 3 to 5 crores uh, will be very very good for you and frankly the insurance premiums for these are uh, you know fairly reasonable very very reasonable in fact so uh, what about the health insurance should someone like him just go for a family floater because he anyways has insurance from his club the hope is that his contract keeps getting renewed mm -hmm. every year and therefore that would might be ongoing or should he uh, you know, go for individual plans for all the three family members. Generally, to my mind, because the medical expenses are shooting up so much, you should at least have a five lakh cover uh, for a for a three member family. And in fact, uh, on the personal accident front, you can actually uh, add that to your normal term uh, insurance as one of the additional uh, benefits. So to say. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about your goals, so to speak. Uh, you're used to defending yeah. uh, on the field, but off the field, you actually need to be in, you know, front foot forward. So tell us what your goals are in the short term. What is it that you hope to accomplish, and in the medium term as well as in the long term? Short term goal, I would say, is to save up for my marriage. That's in Jan. Okay. And my medium term will be like, you know, something if I can if I can save up something for a down payment for a house or something. Okay. To do as much as I can. And for long term will be a for my retirement mm -hmm. and maybe for my if I have children, for my children's uh, future. future needs. Okay, so uh, first you have a wedding coming up in January. Yeah. How much money do you think you might need for that? Maybe around uh, four to five lakhs. Okay. Uh, the house that you're looking to buy, how much might that cost? Depending on where I'm looking for it, which mm. location. A ballpark figure. Maybe, maybe 30, 40 lakhs. Okay. And uh, you said your kids and their Define future. Yes. Uh, okay. So you n want to plan a good education for them. Yeah. And the other thing is you spoke to me a little bit about your plans to travel. I think I would do that like on a annual basis because mm. It's like a month of off season we get, so we need to relax ourselves and go take okay. a break. So maybe every like every year in a month, I'll try to pick a country and try to travel there. Okay, so that's another annual expense that needs to be accounted for. Yeah. And the other thing is, um, tell us about your aspirations. Are, are you looking at buying a car, a bike? Where, I mean, are you looking to spend anywhere? You said earlier that you're a wise spender, right? So tell us where do you hope to spend your money? Uh, just recently I bought a car so I have a loan right now which I'm going to be paying for hmm. so once this gets over maybe I'm I'm more into bikes actually so I always okay. want, dreamt of having a sports bike so I want to you know spend on that something like a sports bike okay so how do you assess his goals are they in line you think I think the goals are reasonable uh, the fa fact is that you've started 
uh, earning uh, and earning sizable enough to actually uh, save enough money to meet most of your goals. One goal, which is the short term goal, which is your wedding, is just around the corner, about six months you said. So you can't actually do too much of investments for it. You just need to park monies aside to be able to meet the goal because six months is not a time frame where you can actually invest your money. Post which, like you said, I have to buy a house for myself, a car, my travel. See, the travel bit is a recurring one, but the car is not a recurring one. And buying a house is a one-time activity. So what you should do is bifurcate your goals as good to have and need to have. So first comes your wedding for which you just need to set aside money. You can't invest that money because you yeah. just have six months. Uh, the second thing which is your home which is a very very important objective uh, that's your second most important one and then you can get to uh, children's education children's uh, marriage and stuff so these are the more important ones and what I would also uh, clearly recommend is that you know, sooner than later you must very very quickly buy the house mm. and why I say that you know, because uh, if you think that 10 years is the playing span that you are left mm. with then ideally, you know, all your home loan installments should get over by the time, uh, right. you know, your regular earnings yeah. through your playing assignment comes to an end, which mm -hmm. is, let's say, a period of 10 years or so. And take a home loan uh, for that, right? Okay. It's, a, uh, it's a good uh, tax savings uh, uh, tool as well. Uh, but mm -hmm. more importantly, the sooner you start your uh, installments uh, for mm -hmm. housing, they should coincide with your earning uh, period. You know, rather than when you are generating returns out of your investments. And as your uh, contract gets bigger and better, you can even look at prepaying it and finishing it off That's before right. you mm -hmm. perhaps even hit uh, yeah. 35. But uh, tell us one thing, you said you're comfortable with uh, so far very safe instruments. You've uh, just experimented with the bank FD and now with PPF, right? I'm not knowledgeable about all this. So I just I'm taking I'm not taking a big risk in all this. Do you think he could be the right candidate to explore equity? Yeah, of course, yes. In normal course, someone like him, actually, we would classify him as an aggressive risk profile. Mm. Someone who can absorb a lot more uh, uh, risk despite being a defendant <laughs> uh, on the field. Uh, but the, the critical difference between any other normal employee uh, who works uh, and uh, him mm. is that, you know, he has really, let's say, 10 to 12 years of yeah. peak earning period. Um, and and that, that, that's the most critical period as yeah. far as he is concerned. Uh, if I factor that in, I would then like to classify him as moderate uh, risk okay. profile. Uh, but even then, you know, for his goals that he did talk about, whether it is children's education or setting up your own restaurant after 10 to 12 years, yeah. uh, he will need a sizable sum of money you know, at the costs of 12 to 15 years later, yeah. which are going to be at least, at least five times more than what they are today. Yeah. Uh, you know, which means necessarily he needs to start uh, educating himself and thinking mm -hmm. about equities. And that makes sense also because you're in the highest tax bracket, right? Yeah. So it's going to also be tax efficient over the longer term. So uh, what mutual fund is good enough for me? Equity funds are the funds which will over long periods of time make you twice more than a mm -hmm. debt uh, fund. If you look at the last last 25 years you will at least make 14 to 15 percent so the largest compounding impact is going to come when you make the higher double digit returns so equity funds would be the largest component of a person's portfolio especially at your age uh, so equity funds in equity funds there are several categories but to make things simple just look at the large cap funds and the mid cap funds so what are the criteria to knowing the good funds rather than actually going into the nitty-gritty of which are the criteria the cumulative outcome of that is expressed mm -hmm. in stars so just look at those and I think if you've bought yourself a five-star fund I think you've done it then done your trick anyway uh, one final question Keegan does your family or you have any affinity to investment in precious metals maybe gold or silver no I don't think no okay so which in today's scenario is not too bad right given That's the way right. prices are trending so would you advise him any allocation to that or nothing at all so I wouldn't advise him any if the family doesn't need it okay. uh, right and uh, you know his wife is going to come find <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah. At the risk of your wife finding me too, I would, I would reiterate <laughs> so that gold as an asset class over the next couple of years is going to be very, 
very very subdued all right but the idea in any case is to curve down on the spending and look at investing rather than just saving all right on that note the heavy lifting's been all done and all that's left now is to structure it into a plan that can easily achieve all of keegan's objectives and goals so you'll want to stay tuned to find out what keegan's portfolio actually looks like and remember let's stay rich